Spider-Man. Wonder what's in the box. And what's behind that curtain? Whatever it is, it better be worth missing lunch. Dr. Norton could have waited till the convention this afternoon. Maybe he doesn't want anyone else stealing his thunder. Parker, take some pictures. What am I paying you for? Pay? You mean I get paid? Not necessarily. Gotcha. Joshua. Oh, Dr. Norton. How many times must I tell you to stay out of the lab? But, but, but Dr. Norton... Not now. The press is waiting. Huh. Big shots. They'll soon see who the real genius is. I have invited the press here for an advanced look at what may be one of the greatest inventions of the century. The world's first diminishing ray. This I've got to see. All right, Smedley. This adjustment's tricky. Don't want to make it too small. The press may now take the before pictures, as in before and after. What's the matter? Run out of film? We're frightening that poor animal, Mr. Jameson. Look at it. Don't worry, that cage is plenty strong. All right, that's enough. Save your film for the after shot. Release him. It's coming out! Get behind me! Congratulations, Norton. That's more than incredible. This is really happening. Parker, get those pictures to the bugle right away. A couple more, just in case, Mr. Jameson. Don't want to lose our tiny pet. <coughs> this afternoon at the International Inventors Convention, I will complete my demonstration by restoring this lion to his normal size. The demonstration is over! Now! Joshua! Cheer, cheer! The Gadgeteer is here! Cheer, cheer, the Gadgeteer is here? The inventor's inventor! The scientist's scientist! The weirdo's weirdo? Uh, he's uh, just our janitor. Don't touch that, you puppy! Thank you, Dr. Norton, for your invention. You can't get away with that! Call the guards! You are powerless before the gadget here! Where's Peter? If I know Parker, he was the first one out! <laughs> You're fired, Joshua! You have just begun to experience the expertise and extraordinary inventiveness of Gadgeteer. 
What do you do for a finish? The war crawling wimp. Hate to bring such a diabolical career to an end, but you know how it is with diabolical careers. What? A little slow today, webhead. But it's time I cut you down to size. I don't believe this. <laughs> so long, spider shrimp! He's gone. And so's my diminishing ray. I'm getting the police. What a story. Come on, Parker better have those pictures. This is weird, even for me. What am I gonna do now? Two inches tall? You look like Jaws. What if it never wears off? The only jobs I could ever get would be on wedding cakes. If anybody ever tells me it's a small world, have I got news for them? Gotta turn this ray around somehow and call Aunt May so she won't worry. Oh, wow. It's a King Kong kitty. Back! Back! Hey, it worked. Uh, look, I don't want to hurt you, but I don't want to be a kitty cat snack either. Hey, who's hurting who? about being small, nobody bothers you. Much. Oh yeah, gotta call Aunt May. But I need a dime. Sure, the subway grating. Aha! I've heard of inflated money before, but this is ridiculous. Ow! The bells of St. Mary's. This is my big number. Hello. Hello. Whoa, Aunt May, what a big voice you have. Aunt May, this is Peter. Hello. Is anyone there? Aunt May, it's me, Peter. <sighs> Must be a bad connection. She can't hear me. Is anyone there? Is this a prank? I know. I need a megaphone. And May! It's me! Oh, these kids today. 
Carol. And May, it's me. Don't hang up. No good vandals. Leave the phone off the hook. Tear the phone book. Good. Betty left a piece of paper and a typewriter. Betty, tell Aunt May I'm staying overnight with a friend, Peter. Now, where did he go? I demand to see Jameson. Uh, over there. But, but... Jameson, what are you trying to do? Ruin me? Huh? You won't let me advertise my products in your silly newspaper. How can I sell them? This paper will not have anything to do with promoting web-headed, wall-crawling toys. These are not toys. They represent the latest in space-age technology. Watch. That's too much. They can do anything Spider-Man can do. Watch. Exactly like Spider-Man. Uh-huh. And that's exactly what I don't like about him. Hey! Uh, uh, it's not supposed to do that. Uh, now it's out. And so are you out! 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 You're going to hear from my lawyers! Out! Out of my office! Now! Smoke. The alarm. Why didn't it go off? There's gotta be an override switch. Here it is. It's vibrating too hard! Can't hold on! <laughs> the smoke! <coughs> I can't see! No, Mr. Jameson, not that way! You might burn yourself! Well, good thing I had those smoke detectors installed. Futuristic microchip computer to be unveiled at the International Inventors Convention. Now that's something Gadget here just won't pass up. Oh. Huh. Web swinging is hard work for a tiny tot. What I need is a little help. And the wind is blowing just right. Hey! Come back! Lots of great gadgets in there. Cream of the crop. I'm better than any of them. But when they look at me, all they see is a janitor. Well, look again, dolts. It's me, the fabulous gadgeteer. The only way to fly. Whoops, there's the convention below. A little less helium, and what goes up must come down. Only not so fast! The gadget here's got to be gimmicking around here someplace. My 
my brain and this microcomputer, I'll create gadgets that will make me king of the world. We've got to stop meeting like this. Uh-oh, my spidey sense is tingling. There's something going on in that computer. Pretty aggressive mice around here. Two more wires and you're mine. But we're not even engaged. You again! Just can't keep your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man down. Better find the fuse box. A little traction, the plug comes out, and the lights go out. And now to put the lights out on the gadgeteer. The opening can't be getting bigger. It's me. I'm, I'm getting smaller. Down half an inch. If I can't find the ray in reverse, it's Spider-Man will be Spider Molecule. Just a little thing I picked up at the convention, web brain. This is no toy. You're finished. Seems to me I've heard those words before. Safety in numbers, they always say. Shh. Don't anybody say a word. Hmm. The witch is the real webhead. Nowhere to run, web slinger! Toy around with him. You over here! The fool. His ego will be his downfall. All together now. <laughs> Those webs! I can't see! Oh, losing power! Fellas, I owe you one. What do you know? A rat hole. The perfect hiding place for gadgets here. Hey! Phew. Lucky I landed on something soft. This looks familiar. Too familiar. It's a spider web. And the lady of the house is at home, the Black Widow. I hope she realizes I'm not a relative. Black Widows have a nasty habit of eating their husbands. Uh, nice lady. Hey, go away, please. I'm really stuck. My only chance. A spiderweb slingshot. She was putting on too much weight anyway. Now for Gadgeteer. I'll get back to normal size, and then Spider-Man, watch out. It's my turn in the 
the spotlight, mister. No! Little man, you've had a busy day. I think this belongs to you. The miniaturizing ray. Thank goodness, but what about the man who stole it? Joshua, the gadgeteer. But, but why did you do it, Joshua? Why? Because you never listened to me. You never listened to me. What did he say? 